Hey everybody, it's me, Angel Benton, and it is time for another edition of Angel Sudsy Recap, where we delve into the world of daytime television and do a few reality shows on the side. And in daytime television, one of the shows that we're going to be talking about is Days of Our Lives. Now, here's the thing about Days of Our Lives. Well, before we get into that, um, FYI, last night, I would have done this last night, except last night, um, two things. Um... I went to a, a gay bar for the, not not for the first time. It's, I've been to quite a few gay bars in my life. But this was a, a specific gay bar that is one of the relatively newer ones that opened in Vegas. And when I say new, I mean it opened like they just celebrated their fifth anniversary. That just tells you that I don't go out that often. And I, what's crazy is that when I was younger, I was, at, ask my mom, I was out every single night. I would go out and I would, and I didn't even drink back then. I didn't have my first drink until I turned 40. But when I went out, I literally went out and I drank and I didn't drink. I um, danced. I danced until 2 a.m. And then, see, I didn't like going to bars because there wasn't any place to dance. But discos, I went to discos and I stayed there all night long. It was some of the best times of my life. It was great. And um, the job I had, you know, um, when I was working for the porn industry, it was very conducive to that because it was all, I remember, I didn't work in front of the camera, I just did marketing. But still, you know, it was very much centered around nightlife, gay nightlife. So it was really great. It was really cool. I got to go to lots of different gay bars around the country and, you know, gather up the boys and it was really wonderful. It was, it was pretty cool. But since I came here to Las Vegas to get my uh, real job, um, I haven't gone out that much. So it was nice to go out and it was nice to meet new people and you know, I love meeting people and talking to people. It's really cool. Okay, so then after that, two of my girls that I went to, um, so I went there and had a drink, a drink, a Long Island iced tea, that was it. I was like, I'm not having any more because I have a whole night ahead of me. So then we went to China Poblano at Cosmopolitan where I met up with two of my girlfriends that I worked, actually it ended up being three, that I ended up working at Disney with. The third was a surprise. So I want to give a shout out to Melissa and Adrian and Melinda. Uh, and I didn't, uh, I, I mean, I, I definitely, I remember the names of, there was other girls there too. There was four other girls there as well, but um, I, I, I knew, I didn't know them. So I just met them last night. So I wanted to say shout out to all of you ladies. We had so much fun. Um, they ended up going to Marquee afterwards. But I, because they have, you know, a room there, they can go into Marquee whenever the fuck they want, which is nice. You know what? Maybe they'll want to go tonight. See, tonight they want to do a strip club crawl where you start at one strip club and then you go to a bunch of other ones. So I think I might. I mean, I'm definitely going there and I'll be dressed up. And since I'm already dressed up, I might as well go to Marquee tonight maybe if... We'll see what's happening. Whatever. I'm I'm just hanging out with them for the weekend, so it's it's really cool. So I, I anyway. So the whole point of that is, is that I I finally watched the last episode of Days because I was actually caught up throughout the week, and then I watched the last episode this morning just now. So I'm not gonna lie. Days has kind of slipped into a little bit more of a tedious uh, phase right now with the whole. With the whole, I mean, so here's some things that I'm questioning about the show. I mean, this whole whodunit with Deimos, we all knew that that was happening, right? Although, here's something that's interesting. And I haven't made my mind up about whether I like it or not. But, um, you know, the, the thing with between Eric and Nicole, like, I always loved Eric and Nicole together. You know, when they... I mean, but it just seems like it was never meant to be. Once he, once, once the big switchover happened and Jensen Ackles wasn't playing Eric and uh, Greg Vaughn was, it was like, okay, well, he came back as a priest, so they couldn't be together because of that. And then, you know, um, he, you know, she chose Daniel, so they couldn't be together because of that. And then when Daniel died because he killed him because he was a drunk driver, you know, it's really. Um, it's really kind of star-crossed, but even more star-crossed than that. Let's say that Nicole ends up with Eric and they run off together. Because I keep trying to figure out what Nicole's exit story is going to be. Because she is 
leaving the show. So it just makes me wonder, what is... How are they going to write her off? At first I thought she's going to kidnap Holly and disappear. That was it. No, then they launched into that whole Canada story, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then I thought, oh, well, maybe she'll get arrested and go to jail. Then the charges were dropped, blah, blah, blah. And not just that, but she, they, the judge gave Holly to a foster family for six months. And in that six months... You know, that means that she's going to be around for six months. So I just, I'm trying to, trying to figure it out. And it's killing me. But at the same time, it's like, you know, that is part of the fun of the soap operas is trying to figure out what, what the next move is going to be. That's why I hate it when things are so obviously telegraphed uh, to us. Like, um, it's like, Deimos is going to get killed by, an, and no one is going to know who did it because everyone hates him. You know, it's like, okay, yeah, we get it. Who didn't see that coming? I mean, really. Uh, excuse me. And here's the thing that I don't like about that particular story. Why is Marlena the only one in town that gets to hypnotize people? And why is hypnotizing the uh, the police's only way? I mean, it, it seems a very... That seems a little bit silly. Because A, not everyone is hypnotizable. What if they meet someone and they're like, yeah, we can't get through to you, you know... It's, 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 it, that is stretching the limits of believability. Just saying. And this is a, this is coming from a show that buried Carly alive, had Marlena possessed by the devil. I mean, like, you know, it was pretty out there. But th actually, those were the days when they were so out there. That was pre-Passions, back when Jim Riley, rest his soul, wrote for that show. It was so good. It was so... It was That was the best. That was awesome. And I, I think they tried to, to bring that back a little bit with the whole jungle madness thing, but that didn't really last very long. And not just that, but we still don't know what happened to Peter Demera. It's nice that they mentioned him, but we still don't know where he is. Now, Kristen's coming... Well, I don't know if it's Kristen. Eileen Davidson is coming back to the show. Oh my God, and here's some sad news. Eileen Davidson has just announced she will not be on Housewives next season. But she, because her work schedule with Days and Young and the Restless is going to be so packed that she's not going to have any time for her family. So she, there's no way she could do a third show and be there for her family. So I understand it. And ever, and it's so crazy to hear, to, to read the comments on Facebook. This is really good for me because I'm, I'm learning. Just don't read the comments. Just don't. Let it go. Because it's that's that's a little bit crazy. Okay, moving on. All right. Okay. So okay. So in terms of, so I'm I'm really sad that. But we don't know what character she's playing when she comes back. She could be playing Susan Banks. Fingers crossed. Uh, that was my favorite. That's my favorite character on all of daytime television is Susan Banks. She is fucking hilarious. Um, she could be playing Kristen Demera. And if she does, maybe she'll bring back her brother, Peter. I don't know, but we'll see. Okay, so, oh my God, and this whole thing between Theo and Claire, who cares, who cares, who cares? I don't care. I don't care about them. And I don't care about Jade and Joey. Although I do I do find Tripp's whole story, minus Jade and Joey, interesting how he is kind of framing... Uh, Kayla, because he thinks Kayla killed his mother, but now he's sort of questioning it. I, hope, I kind of hope he doesn't go through with it, because he's super cute, and I would like to see him have a future on the show. And usually when you've do done something that bad, it's kind of hard to come back from. Not impossible, as other shows have shown us. It is not impossible. I mean, look at Franco on General Hospital. I mean, psychopath, but because of a brain tumor, and that was removed, now he's a nice guy. So, who knows? Who knows what happens? You know, that kind of reminds me of that one story about this one uh, footballer who was, like, totally straight and macho, and then he got, like, knocked on the head, and when he came to in the hospital, he was all of a sudden, like, this huge queen. Right? That's a little bit crazy. That That's a little crazy. You know, and part of me thinks, well, maybe he just knows that life is short now, and he doesn't want to live a lie, and the other time, part of me is thinking, God, what if it's just a little switch in your brain that could easily get, you know, knocked into play? Who knows? It's crazy. That, that's, that, that story's crazy, but anyways, 
Yeah, and he became like a hairdresser, and yeah, it, it, he was like a footballer, and then he became a hairdresser, and with a boyfriend, and, and everyone was like, "What the who? Who are you?" And his personality totally changed. It's that's it's just crazy. Anyways, sorry, I didn't mean to delve into per, uh, to current events there. Sorry about that. Um, there was one part of Days of Our Lives this past week that was hilarious, though, and I've got to mention it because I like when funny things happen on the show. And amidst and amidst all this storm und drang of Deimos's murder, uh, you know, Kate and Andre got married. And, of course, they like to fight a lot. They're like the Bickersons. Yeah, I get it. Except I've seen that in real life with Adrian and Paul... Um, uh, Adrian Maloof and Paul Nassif. And it's like, okay, well, that doesn't really work out that well. So, mm, but what was funny was that... Um, Oh, and, okay, wait, wait, first of all, um, when Rafe was asking Hope to, Rafe asked Hope to marry him, and Hope said no, and all this stuff, and it was a little bit ridiculous, because everyone kept making him jump through hoops before he could get to her to, apo uh, to apologize, to propose, <laughs> I'm sorry, will you marry me? <laughs> um, so, um, First he went to Julie because she actually, well, actually she came to him because she stumbled into his proposal and then but she told him he he had to ask Doug first for old because he was old fashioned so she, he asked Doug and Doug was like oh how old fashioned and Mom was like really but um, then he's like but you've got to ask Victor so he asked Victor and it was actually a really touching scene between Rafe and Victor all about Bo and Hope and and uh, what Bo asked of of Rafe before he left to take care of Hope and he promised he would and it was just a really touching scene I just felt like that that was something that like scenes like that that's shit that that we need more of on days of our lives it's really great but we also need more humor and so one of the other things that was hilarious was so Lucas found out that Kate married Andre and he says to Kate Six months with him is like six months with eczema. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's really good. That was funny. That was really funny, and it was perfect coming from Lucas. It was really great, you know. So, um, anywho, I just want to say thank you so much for logging on today. I do appreciate it. Please feel free to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Angel Benton, where we can talk all about... Um, soaps you can hashtag days or d-o-o-l i'm adding that hashtag now because i'm seeing a lot of people using that hashtag so they'll both be on there we'll, we'll get some more viewers and then if you can hit click on that little subscribe button on the youtube channel it would be greatly appreciated all right everyone thank you so much for for logging on today uh please feel free to also hashtag yr because i'm doing young and the restless next okay peace out wubba wubba wubba